Day 6. Early in the morning, when we are having breakfast, our boat arrives the city of Split. The bench has solar panel and there are two USB ports to charge telephone or the computer. She Vedrana, she <laughs> let me present Vedrana first. Uh the curly. And she's happy to see me. Huh? Are you not? Huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. We haven't seen each other for a long time, and uh, always like, and we always have like. And the food. last time he picked the other guy. No, I picked oh, the other guy. It, it came like that. The draw came like that, and I said, next time I'll have you for sure. And here we are. Okay. Dobro <laughs> jutro. Can I just bomb? How do we say our group? Dobro jutro. <laughs> okay, you can roll that. So maybe you'll be able to pronounce my name, Vedrana. You know, this year I had another group, and later when I asked them, where are you guys from, they said, we're from Richmond. <laughs> anyway, the meaning of my name is a sunny sky with no cloud. Before we go to the main attraction here, the palace, I just want to mention the open air market is right here. Now they're still closed, but by the time we finish this tour, like one and a half hours, 140 minutes, you can come back here if you want to buy these magnets, souvenirs. Another melodious Croatian word with a lot of R's. So we think when Greek people came here in the third century before Christ, they saw a lot of... You can see right over there behind the small houses, 600 feet long, and the east and the west, 700 feet long. Originally, the palace had 16 towers all around. Now, only three remain. So you can see this one right over there no gold or silver or anything those were just fancy names for those gates and there were two main streets connecting them this one here called Cardo, oh sorry, Cardo Street this is the waterfront not a beach that is why the city put up a sign post if people dress up like this here they have to pay a fine Where the big holes look, they look like gates in a way. They and they are also original, 1700 years old. Yeah, so there is a hill, maybe you noticed it on your way here when you were walking on the left-hand side, yeah. So back then in Roman times, they had cypress trees growing there, but we cut them all, so now at the time, they had to make him look very handsome and good-looking. Otherwise, they would cut out the hands of the sculptor. So that was like ancient Photoshop that they used back then. <laughs> so Diocletian here, he was a good emperor in some ways, okay? So, and he split the power with his best friend Maximianus. So, Strapa? Strapa. Grappa. No! Oh, you have to do, I mean, when you're in Croatia, you have to have someone, okay, I will show you later places where you can. So this is where they used to keep the olive oil. There was a lid on top. And even today in Dalmatia, in this part of Croatia where you are now, almost every family produces either olive oil or wine. They built an aqueduct 
five and a half miles long, bringing water here. Croatian people came from the east. They just destroyed everything. There's nothing. Sometimes I have tours over there. It's really sad. I have to tell my group on the bus. One and a half thousand dollars a month. So I get why those people are leaving, even though sometimes I feel horrible. I'm an enabler. Yeah. Most of my students, I teach home like I mentioned, and most of my students are in And apparently has nothing to do with that because the higher the altitude, the shorter the people. Okay. Nutrition probably wow. and good genes. So the first people, yeah, we know it, was an Illyrian tribe called Delma. But that is a whole another story, so we are not exactly sure where Croatian people came from. Probably the most probably the area is the probably is not that big in the state. Not now. It's like good yeah. We also think that he had roof gardens on top. Now when you look out, you will see a restaurant over there. Yeah, so they filmed it here, but when you watch the movie, this is like green. More or less here, you will see those niches in this room, so we think that there were statues of either different Roman gods or maybe the four co-rulers of the Roman Empire. And now we have this group of gentlemen right here. They are the singers, performers, we call them Klapa. Then we come to the Cathedral of St. Domnius. But today it is not open to visitors. Before dinner, I come across a shipmate that looks like Kenny Rogers, my favorite singer. After dinner, we have Croatia folk dance and music.
Folks, I'm counting down. Ten, nine, twelve. <laughs>